and thank you all for inviting us. It's really a pleasure to be here. The James Irvine Foundation is a longtime supporter of the Korean Resource Center's civic engagement work. On behalf of Irvine, I'm honored to be here. And I'm honored to recognize the Korean American and broader Asian American community, a major cultural and economic force that contributes to the vibrancy and strength of our communities. Like all of you, I am deeply troubled by the divisive rhetoric and actions coming out of Washington. The attacks on immigrant communities are heartbreaking. Families who have come here for a better life are being torn apart. People are living in fear every day. Despite those daunting conditions, KRC continues to lead to deliver critical services to the community, and that's why I'm so grateful to be with you tonight to celebrate their work. As all of you know, their efforts are more important than ever. KRC remains an inspiration when we need it most. Thank you. We at Irvine are inspired by KRC's impressive track record of building power with those who often don't have a seat at the table. In 2016 alone, KRC contacted more than 30,000 Asian American voters in California to encourage them to vote. <laughs> KRC volunteers secured close to 8,000 new voter registrations. We <laughs> know this is critical because voting rates are especially low. In API communities when compared to other groups because of a range of various barriers. Let me just say the young people in that video were super inspired. KRC also played a leadership role in changing the city of Fullerton's at-large election system to a district-based election system. This new system will provide more opportunities for candidates of color and will better reflect the community which can increase voter turnout. And that's not all they've done. KRC's Immigrant Rights Project mobilized staff and volunteers to advocate for DACA. The project also offered legal services for community members, assisting with the completion of more than 2,000 applications for naturalization, DACA, and DACA renewals, as well as green card renewals. So what does all of this mean? It's, it adds up to KRC making our democracy more representative California's diverse communities. It adds up to developing grassroots community leaders and ensuring that low-income, API, immigrant, and people of color communities have the power to shape the policies that affect their lives and the lives of their families. Organizations like KRC make it possible for us at Irvine to fulfill our mission. After I became Irvine's CEO in 2015, I traveled across the state to hear from civic, business, nonprofit, and community leaders about the challenges and opportunities facing our state. And then in 2016, we spoke directly to over 500 Californians from across the state who work hard every day and find themselves living on the brink of poverty. What we heard over and over is that the California dream feels farther and farther out of reach. Too many of our fellow Californians are struggling, piecing together jobs and paychecks that don't cover the high cost of living in our state. And just getting by takes so much time and effort that they have little opportunity to participate in their communities and have a voice in the policies that affect their lives. That's why in 2016, Irvine set new goals for our grant money. We seek to expand economic and political opportunity for working Californians who are struggling with poverty. By our count, that's one in three of our fellow Californians. We believe that every Californian should have the chance to be financially self-sufficient as well as the chance to be heard and counted in the political process. We're also continuing our long-standing commitment to ensuring that California's immigrant communities have access to economic, educational, and political opportunities. Over the last year, we've expanded our support for immigrant communities to address new threats with a special focus on supporting API communities. Let me close by returning to the theme of tonight's gala. KRC and leaders like all of you in this room are building a movement for change. We believe in you and what you will accomplish because we see the progress you're making and it reminds us that real change is possible. 
Thank you to the Korean Resource Center and to all of you for your leadership, and thanks for having me here tonight.